Question 30. We're halfway through paper one. I want you to do this. Take one minute to do it. And let me see what you get. All right. You've paused the video and you have done it. What did you get as the answer? Let's see. Let's see how, what this thing is all about. If E is half mv squared, then you're transposing for V, making V the subject of the formula. Now, E is half mv squared. Now here, you have a half at this point. One thing you could do is multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the half. You want whole numbers, alright? So if I multiply by 2, I get 2 times e is equal to 2 times half mv squared. But what is 2 by a half? It is 1. So it's 2e is equal to mv squared. Now, I have 2e equal mv squared. If I divide by m, I would get rid of m and have v squared. Remember, it should be v equal. So once I get rid of m beside the v, I'm getting closer to having the v equal. I'm not quite there yet because I would have v squared. But get rid of m. 2e equal mv squared. Divide this by m, m into m goes 1, but I have a v squared equal. Anything you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the next side, you divide by m. So I have 2e over m equal v squared. I'm not quite at the v equals yet. No, I have v squared and I want v. What do I do? It's the same thing as saying I have 3 squared and I want 3. What is 3 squared? It is 9. And the square root of 9 gives 3. If I have 4 squared and I want 4, just square root 4 squared. 4 squared is 16. And when I square root 16, I get 4. If I have 5 squared, 5 squared is 25. I want back 5. I just square root the... 5 squared and I get 25. So coming back up here, you can see that the square root of 3 squared is 3. The square root of 4 squared is 4. The square root of 5 squared is 5. So the square root of 25 is 5. In, sa in the same way, the square root of v squared is v. So all I'll do is say the square root of v squared is going to be v. I have my v equal now, but I'm not finished yet. I square root the right hand side, I must square root the left hand side too. Square root of 2e over m. So I have v is equal to square root of 2e divided by m. So the answer here is c. This is a transposition question. Transpositions are usually not very comfortable to work with but just in case you don't remember how to transpose let's see another way that you could do this thing if you don't remember anything about transposition especially with these squares and square roots and so on one other trick you could play on this thing is to say this is half m half by 10 is 5 times so half by 10 let's say m is 10 what is v m is 10 make v uh, what could I say now make v 2 so that Half m v squared is 4. So half of 10 is 5. 5 for is 20. So e would be 20. 
Let me fix this up. So 20 equals half by m by v square. So 20 is half times 10 times 2 squared. That works out nicely. E is 20. M is 10. V is 2. Which one of these would work out as well? V is 2. I should get 2 when I work these out. E is 20. 20 over m squared. M is 10 over 10 squared. Mm -mm. 20 over 10 squared is 20 over 100. 100 is not 2 so a can work v is 2 2 is supposed to be equal to half m m is 10 half by 10 times e squared e is 20 20 squared is what 400 but this can't be 2 this is far from 2 this can't work if i try well if i try this v is 2 2 equal the square root of 2 times e, e is 20, 2 times 20 over m, what is m? m is 10, so 22 is 40, so the square root of 40 over 10, so I get 40 over 10 is 4, the square root of 4 is 2, so it works out, c would be right, it wouldn't work for d, because if I say v, v is 2, 2 is equal to square root of e is 20 over 2 times m. What is m again? m is 10. Then I would say the square root of 20 over 2 times 20. But 20 over 20 is 1. The square root of 1. The square root of 1 is 1, not 2. So d wouldn't work out either. So once it's multiple choice, you can play these tricks and get the answer or get some Get, get rid of some of these wrong answers if you have the time all right and if you don't remember the straightforward way to do it so question 30 that's halfway through paper one recheck how many of the 30 did you get so far on your own so ensure you understand how to work out all of those that you didn't get so far. Con we'll continue next time.